development is really about building sustainable communities. It's about locating housing, offices, and retail closer to bus and rail stations. There's plenty of examples of good TOD in our region. Um, New Jersey Transit has done a great job of, of helping towns develop more around their rail and bus stations. We're looking across the Hudson River at the east coast of New Jersey, where we've seen tremendous amount of high intensity development take place over the last two decades. And one of the cornerstones of that development has been the fact that there's an enormous amount of multimodal public transportation between the ferries, the path station, the Northeast Corridor, and the light rail. The Hudson Bergen Light Rail in northern New Jersey has encouraged incredible amounts of residential and office development. Ridership on the Hudson Bergen Light Rail system has steadily grown since we first put together the operating segment in 2000. We have over 40,000 passenger trips per day. This particular system connects Hudson County to the PATH station, which connects to Midtown and downtown Manhattan. But more importantly, it unlocked the potential for development along the Hudson River waterfront. There's some parts of Jersey City where the car ownership rate is as low as 40 to 45 percent. Parking ratios in Jersey City are shocking to some of the people in uh, New Jersey. We don't require parking in most of the development that you're looking at. There's a uh, maximum parking ratio for much of this development, but there's no minimum. A key part of it is changing the zoning, having the municipality that where you live change the zoning code so they can allow a mix of uses. You want development near the train or bus station to have apartments above delis, to have offices above retail stores. Around us are many different office buildings that house people in the financial industry, the computer industry, the telecom industry, and the shipping industry. And when the businesses came, the people came. There are probably about 10,000 residences that were built in this vicinity of this station and around the system. It's been about $5 billion worth of residential investment so far. In the first six months of 2009, more than 18% of the building permits issued for housing units in New Jersey were here in Jersey City. And, and that's a testament to transit-rich development. The, the, the communities that have access to fixed rail are going to be the richest in the coming century. I'm thoroughly convinced of it. People who previously owned two cars now might only own one. People who own one car only use it on occasion. Uh, not having cars does an enormous amount, not just for what it does for the street life, but it means that we're reducing our vehicle miles traveled in this area, which is good for the environment and reducing our greenhouse gas emissions. The challenge is really taking that model and um, translating it into a more suburban environment. Um, suburban areas are more car dependent because things are more spread out. Um, so going forward, we're going to have to see more and more transit-oriented developments uh, around rail and bus stations in suburban areas.